All right, guys, this is an update video to a previous video I published on how to connect your Marine VHF radio to your GPS so that your radio can receive GPS coordinates so that you can do DSC calling in an emergency situation. Uh, to do that, you need an MMSI number. Uh, most of you probably already know that. Uh, I registered for my MMSI number on Boat US. You can uh, do that yourself. There's other videos out there how to do it. It's not that hard, but you need an MMSI number to uh, to do DSC calling or emergency calling. Uh, so the reason I'm doing an update video is I had issues with uh, my radio where it would lose the GPS coordinates every now and then. It was random. It would work fine. Some days it would work all day. And some days it would just lose the GPS signal randomly. And again, I connected this radio up using three wires and the, the radio actually has four wires and one wire I didn't connect. And that other wire does need to be connected to ground. So I'm gonna go through the wiring diagram and configuration. I'll show you that on the bench. That way it's a little more clear. I went ahead and did a little drawing by hand and I'll break out the books and show you all that stuff. All right, guys, on the bench here, I've got the books. Uh, I do want to reiterate that this particular setup, we're talking about an ICOM radio to a Garmin GPS. The model that I have here is a split type of model radio where the actual radio itself goes under the console and the command mic goes up top. Uh, this is an ICM 400 BBE and uh, the Garmin is a Echomap UHD 94SV, okay? Now, I've broken that down here on this little simple piece of paper. So here's the wire diagram that I hand wrote out just to make it easy. So here's your ICOM radio, here's your Garmin GPS, your white talker wire, your positive white talker wire. It goes to the brown listener on the, on the GPS side. And then your yellow listener wire goes to your blue talker wire on the GPS side. And then your brown talker wire and your, list, and your green listener wires, those are both negative wires. Since there's no other devices on this boat, they're gonna go to ground. Same thing with the, of course, the GPS has a black ground, it goes to ground. So that's how it works. That's the easy button as far as the wire diagram in this particular setup. Again, I wanna reiterate for this particular setup and this particular uh, combination between the ICOM radio and a Garmin GPS. So let's jump on the boat and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, before you guys get started connecting any wires, make sure your radio and GPS are in the off position. Under the console, we have uh, the white wire from the radio going over to the brown wire on the GPS, and then the yellow wire on the radio going over to the blue wire on the GPS. And then I have the green and brown wires on the radio going to a common ground, little wire that I just used to extend over uh, to my ground right there, going up to the, the black ground terminal block there. And that's sort of the, that's it. That's what I showed you on the bench as well in that, that diagram um, the, that I wrote out. Uh, what I used here to connect these is I used some really cheap little scotch locks that I got off of Amazon. And these were a little bit small, so I had to trim down the wires to get them in, in there. Uh, and I filled these up since they didn't come pre-filled with any dielectric grease. I filled them up with dielectric grease and then I stuck the wires in and crushed, crushed the tops. If I had to do it over again, get the red ones, not the orange ones. The red ones are a little bit bigger for a little bit bigger diameter wire. So that's what I needed, a little bit bigger, but it made it work. So, um, but yeah, get the red ones. And the 3M ones I think do come already pre-filled with some, some dielectric grease. But if not, you can always use another method to, to uh, splice those together. And this is what I used as far as dielectric grease. I squirted that into the ends and stuck them in the wire ends in there and crushed the, um, the little cap. And here's the uh, little scotch lock that I used. So once you're done connecting your wires, jump up top here, turn on your GPS, and your radio should be in the off position still. Go to settings. Go to communication and we're going to make sure that our serial port is set to NMEA standard and it is to do that just click that and then when you're done with that set to standard you're going to go over here to the setup NMEA setup and then you're going to check and we're going to set everything to default to make sure everything's good we set the default and then we're going to turn our radio on all 
right? My MSI number was displayed there for a second, as you might have saw. And then immediately it receives GPS coordinates signal. Uh, to validate everything, to make sure everything's talking properly, you can jump over here to diagnostics and you can see the sentence types that's being used. In this case, it's CDGGA and all of the talking that's going on there. Scroll down and you see one other sentence type being used is CDRMC and all the talking there, all the packets that are passing. And that's the, that's the only two sentence types that are being used. You have the option, you can turn off the other sentence types if you don't want them running um, as a way to sort of limit or uh, just sort of clean things up. I'm gonna leave mine alone, set them at, set as default. Uh, if you do wanna turn stuff off, you just go to system and you can turn on and off these sentence types here or you can go to Garmin, also has some sentence types there. I'm just gonna leave everything the way it was as default. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is do a DSC test call with the Ghost Coast Guard. Real easy to do. Uh, go into the DSC menu. Scroll down to test call and enter. And then type in the, the US Coast Guard DSC test call number, which is here. And that's 00366-9999. Once you got that put in there, hit enter, and then call. And that's gonna send a message out to the Coast Guard and you're gonna wait for a response. Might take a few seconds here. All right, so you received acknowledgement there. Then all you gotta do is hit enter and then hit exit. And all, you sure you wanna proceed, hit okay. And that brings you back to the main menu. Now, you'll see that you have a little thing flashing up there, a little, almost looks like an email icon. Uh, really easy to figure that, uh, to clear that, go to DSC. Go scroll down to receive call logs and hit enter. And then you're going to go to, um, you can also see your distress calls. If there are any out there, you can check that. Uh, or others in this case, this test call. And you can see the test acknowledgement there. And then you can hit enter there. Gives you the details of that, of that call. And then you can hit uh, delete and hit okay. And then exit. Now you're good to go. From this point, you should be able to communicate with other boats or make a DSC distress call. Uh, in this particular radio, the distress button's on the back under the cover. Uh, other radios are maybe a distress button on the front or on the side or on the top, um, but it just depends on your radio. And hopefully this wiring diagram and the variety of things that we talked about will point you in the right direction if you do have a different setup, um, but uh, hopefully it's helpful.